September stats are in for the real estate market in no one's sound in Gray Bruce, and the results may or may not surprise you. In fact, a rather uneventful month, but there's a lot to dissect and of course anticipate where things are headed. So stick around, but first, if you find value in these videos, would you kindly do us a favor, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment below. Okay, while everyone is eager to know about prices, it's important to note that it's the other statistics that truly determine the direction of where the prices are going. So we're gonna start by examining the Grey Bruce region as a whole before we get into the Owen Sam market specifically. But September proved to be a slow month for Grey Bruce, especially considering that it's typically a time when the market picks up. There were only 164 sales, making this the slowest month since February 2023. To put this into perspective, normally we see 50% more sales in September than what was recorded last month. Now let's take a look at active listings, which is a crucial indicator of market activity. It helps us gauge whether the number of listings on the market is increasing, which in turn affects competition for sellers and gives options for buyers. An increase in active listings potentially leads to more price reductions and longer times on the market. There was 1,121 active listings in September for all of Grey Bruce. This is the highest it's been all year, marking an 18% increase since last September. But to take a more in-depth analysis, we compared it to pre-COVID timeframes, and we saw a 27% increase since 2018. 37.4% of the new listings that came onto the market sold, and the month of inventory currently stands at 6.8%. Both of these metrics indicate that we are in a buyer's market. Twice, things have remained relatively stable. The HPI, or the Home Price Index, for single-family homes in Grey Bruce was $587,000, reflecting a 1.3% increase from the previous month, but a 2% decrease compared to the same time last year. Prices are considered a lagging indicator, meaning before they rise, inventory typically decreases and sales increase. Conversely, before they drop, inventory rises and sales stall. Now let's shift our focus to the Owen Sound market. We can say that conditions have improved a little bit since last month there was only seven sales. In September, we actually saw 15 sales. So although that's still relatively slow for a fall market when we compare that with previous years. Currently, there are 76 active listings in Owen Sound and the month of inventory has come back to a more balanced market at 5.1. Remember previous month it was 10. Only 36% of new listings that came to the market actually sold. While during a typical fall market, we actually see around 80 to 100% of them sell. The HPI price for Owen Sound was 482,000. This is down about 2% from last month and one year ago today. So in summary, sales are on a slowdown, active inventory is increasing, but prices are currently still remaining relatively stable since they fell off from the peak of 2022. Victory largely depends on interest rates. Presently, we're witnessing fixed rates rise as the bond market increases and worries about inflation ramp up. A few months ago, buyers could still secure a 4.5% rate, but now they're looking at 6% plus. This is significantly impacting their purchasing power. There's a general sense of market uncertainty which has made many hesitant to make the move. Direction from here will be influenced by inflation data and how rates change over the next month. From um, a boots on the ground perspective, we're noticing that there's a significant number of price reductions taking place in the Grey Bruce region as a whole. However, on our listings, the last couple of weeks we've noticed there's an uptick in showings, interest seems to be coming back and maybe the fall market is kind of waking up a little bit. So we'll see what happens going forward. But it's important to remember that regardless of the market conditions, there's always gonna be people that are gonna to need to move. They have job changes, life events. There are opportunities in every market. One we see right now is for move up buyers. Houses priced under 600,000 are selling faster and have held their value better than more expensive properties. This presents a good opportunity for those looking to upgrade. You have an opportunity to get something at a lower price relative to your home. You've got options and time to get all your conditions in. So if you're a family out there and you've outgrown mm -hmm. your current home, please reach out to us. This is a really good opportunity for you. For sellers, one strategy that you can consider right now is offer to hold a mortgage for a short period of time to ease the pressure of the higher rates, maybe for a year or two until things come back down. Additionally, check with your bank to see if you've got a fixed rate mortgage right now, see if they'll let you assume that, a new buyer assume it. This can be highly desirable for someone, especially if your rate is around one, Two, two and a half. Hey, we get it. These are crazy times. If you're contemplating buying or selling, but not quite sure where you might fit in today's market, we'd love to help. We feel it's our job to provide clarity and guidance and context for the market conditions today. We're Mark and Tim, Realtors with Century 21. 
in Studio Realty. We're available, call, text, email. We would love to chat. Until next time.